Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kimmy. Today I've got a fun Sephora VIB try on haul. Earlier this week was the Sephora VIB sale, so I did pick up a couple of things that I needed to re up on and a couple of other things that I've been really wanting to try for a really long time. So before we get into it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. It really does help me out and like this video if you want to see more like it and let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to start off with is the Fresh Sugar Caramel Hydrating Lip Balm and first I just want to showcase how gorgeous and cute this packaging is. How adorable is that? It says it's a limited edition inked by Brooklyn based tattoo artist and I don't know how to say that name but look how cool. Oh my gosh, so cute. And this is what the product looks like. It says fresh on it. It's this cute little tin. And what? It comes with stickers. <laughs> How cute. I guess I can like decorate my little tin. How adorable. Wow. Cuteness. Okay, let's try this out. Does it smell like caramel? A little bit. That's what it looks like. I always like to start off by hydrating my lips. That feels wonderful. That feels really nice. Yay. I've been wanting to try this for a really long time. And I'm hoping it treats my lip lips better than the Laneige ones did. Okay. Awesome. Then real quick before I start putting on like any other makeup, I'm just gonna put some of my Willetta skin food on. One thing I love about Sephora is whenever you order something online, you can select a few free samples. So with this order, I got a couple of the Bare Minerals complexion things. I got the Complexion Rescue Tendon Hydrating Gel Cream. Just like that. Let me see if I can open it. And then they're just like cute little pouches in here. I feel like I might try a little bit of that today. And then I also got the Bare Minerals Bare Pro 24 Hour Performance Wear Liquid Foundation with broad spectrum SPF 20 and then the Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream has SPF 30. That's awesome. So I'm going to put on a little bit of the Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. I'm going to go with the shade Vanilla. I'll probably just apply this to my fingers and then press it into the skin with my beauty sponge. Just give this a little taste. T taste? A little taste. Ew. No. Test. <laughs> Squeeze a bit of that onto my finger. Just gonna take a little bit like that. And. I'm in the market for a new foundation and I do like lighter coverage more lately. So if this wears really nicely, I might pick it up. We'll have to see. Okay. So far so good, that looks really nice. It just kind of evened out the skin tone a little bit. I can tell it's hydrating, so it feels really nice. So far so good. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and put on a bit of concealer right now. I'm just gonna get that out of the way. I didn't pick up a new concealer or anything. And I did wanna use my old favorite, the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Concealer. I haven't used this in a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. Should really try and finish it soon. <laughs> Get in there. Blending that out with my sponge. Okay, 
Wow, that just all blended in together and it looks like such a perfect like no makeup makeup look. My skin just looks so natural but flawless. Like my skin just looks so nice right now. Awesome, happy about that. I'm gonna set that a little bit with the Ciate Coconut Setting Powder. Just a little bit, just to make sure it doesn't crease in my creasy areas. <laughs> The next product I picked up is the Huda Beauty Tantor. That's what the packaging looks like. Been needing a new cream bronzer in a better color for me. The milk makeup is a little bit yellow, and so I'm hoping this is a bit more, I don't know, neutral. Very nice, sleek packaging. Kind of, I like, I don't know, I like the box. It's kind of cool. That's what it looks like on the inside. So let's see if this works out for my skin tone. What shade did I get? I got the shade light. You know, this might be kind of the same shade as the milk, so might need to exchange it, but that's what it looks like. We'll see. I'm gonna apply that with my Luxie 512 small contouring brush. I'm just gonna kind of press that into the product. Ooh. Pigmented, okay. It's blending out really nicely. Although it does seem like a similar shade to the milk. Blending out so like effortlessly. You know what? That looks pretty dang good. It looks really natural, and I'm sure you could go way a lot more heavy with it, but not too shabby. I'm not mad about that. Oh, cute. I just noticed that before. There's like a little insert that says tan, tan and tone. Cute. All right. I like that. Next up, I picked up the Kosas. Color and Light Cream Blush and Highlighter. I already looked at it. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I got the shade Tropic Equinox, or Equinox. I'm not really sure the best way to pronounce that. So this is the blush and this is the highlighter. I'm going to go in with my little e.l.f. small stipple brush with the blush up a bit of that on my brush. Stipple that onto my cheeks. I wanted this color because I don't have any colors like it. It's kind of like a peachy nude, but like with a brownish kind of sun-kissed tone to it. It's blending into the bronzer really nicely. So I did actually try it last night because I just couldn't help myself. I applied it with my finger. I'm gonna apply a little bit more with my finger, just kind of melt that into my skin a bit more. And I really, really liked it. I didn't have any other makeup other than this on and it just looked so effortless. I just really like it. I like that a lot. I like this so much. <laughs> wow. Okay. Next, I'm going to go into that little highlighter. Taking it on my finger again. I'm pressing that onto my 
Okay, bones. Wow, it's just like, it doesn't look too much. It just, it's such a nice, like, soft sheen. It looks completely natural, but beautiful. Wow, I, I love this. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the next few things are... Just me re-upping on my favorite skincare from The Ordinary. I got a bigger bottle of the Hyaluronic Acid 2% B5, a hydration support formula with ultra pure vegan hyaluronic acid. I love this, I use it every single day. I can't live without it. And I saw they had a bigger size, so I figured I'd get it. And then I also got The Ordinary's Vitamin C Suspension 23%, HA Spheres 2%, a water-free, silicone-free, stable suspension. I also use this almost every day, so needed to get more of those. And then the next couple of things were I got with my Sephora points. I got a little thing of the Victor and Rolf Flower Balm, 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 Balm. I really like this perfume. And it's so cute! Look at how cute it is! <laughs> it looks like a tiny little grenade. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. Mm. So nice. I love it. It's like a spicy sweet. Spicy or musky sweet. So nice. Yummy yum. And then I also got the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. I got um, one this size. This is the 30 milliliter. Um, in some other like sample set that I got earlier this year. And I just love this thing. It's just really expensive. So when I saw I could, you know, get it for 100 points, I just went ahead and grabbed it. I've used the other one many, many times and I'm only like halfway through. So this will last you a good, a good amount of time. And then the last thing I picked up was the Tower 28 Shine On Milky Lip Jelly in the shade Almond. Look how cute the packaging is. It's so bright and colorful. I wanted the shade Cashew, but they were out of stock by the time I got there. But I still really like this shade. It's like a really nice shade for like fall and winter. I really like it. Let's see what it looks like on. Oh my gosh. Well, that's beautiful. Just give like enough color to your lips to wear on its own. And it feels so nice and comfortable. It's not sticky at all. It's not sticky at all. Not even kind of. It just feels like a lip oil. Like a lip oil and a gloss mixed together. Oh, that's so cute. Look at the cap. The little sun with some waves. I love it. <sighs> okay, one day I'll get my hand on the cashew one, but for now, this is what I've got. So this is everything I picked up from Sephora this round. I'm really happy with everything. I mean, a few of them are some old faves. Um, these two I'm really, really impressed by. I really like everything so far. I really hope the, the Fresh Sugar Caramel lip, lip Balm does me well. I'll keep you guys updated on that. I'll probably be using it almost every day. I do just want to finish this though, but I'm like halfway done with it. So, but yeah, that's everything I did pick up. However, I wanted to do a quick eye look. Um, I've been wanting to do like an olive green, bold eyeliner look. 
using the So Jaded Kathleen Lights um, ColourPop palette. I really wanted to just dig into the shade Jade. I think it's such a beautiful shade. So I just wanted to do that with, real quick with you guys. So I'm going to pick up this little Lavish Brow Groomer. I really just love that, this uh, eyeshadow brush for eyeshadow eyeliner. <laughs> Do I know how to speak English? Not really. So, what I want to do, I was playing earlier this week, I follow this girl named Julia Adams. She's an incredible makeup artist. Please go follow her if you don't already. Um, she has big eyes like I do, but they are a different shape. And she's been doing this interesting kind of pulling it out this way rather than up. I was trying to do that earlier this week, but it wasn't looking too great on me so I'm gonna try it again but I'm gonna kind of play with the shape a little bit more and see if I can do something similar but make it work for me so I just take a little bit of that jade shade let's see if I can get up close to what I'm doing but show you better I'm gonna start on my lower lash line about a third of the way in I am going to pull it towards my brow. Like so. But if you notice, I don't know if you can tell, but I have like a small gap between where the line is and my actual lash line. That way it's a thicker line. And then I'll fill that in now. looks pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there for now. I'm gonna go catch this other eye up to speed. Wow, okay, so that makes me feel some sort of way. I feel like <laughs> this was so much easier to get the, la the liners like matching and like in the same kind of going the same direction and that was just so easy so easy I have to link the video that she did for this look she is using um, the melt cosmetics kush palette I think and then the Pat McGrath mothership 5 um, so I'm just gonna do what I can she was also using some Laura Mercier caviar sticks I believe no they're the makeup forever cream shadows or something like that I don't have those so I'm just going to use what I have to kind of keep going along the same vibe. Um, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette in the shade Sponsored. I'm going to take that on a little flat definer brush. This is the Alamod brush and I'm going to dampen it a little bit. And then press this on the inner part of my lash line. That looks cool. 
I'm just kind of blending it into the olive. I, I just think it looks dope. That looks so cool to me. The shade is so cool. It's like blue and green with like a pinky taupey base to it. It's just so cool. I love shades like that. I'm also gonna do the same thing on, on the lower lashes. And then just real quick, just so I have a little bit of definition in my crease. Not a ton, I don't want a super big amount. I just kind of want to help with the creasing that I have going on. I'm gonna take in my show, show Jaded palette, um, a bit of Rose Quartz. All right, and then for a little pop of something fun, I'm gonna pop Trust Issues on the center of my lid. Just for a little pizzazz. Oh, that looks so cool. <laughs> so fun. I love it. Okay. And then for my inner corners, I'm going to take pearl. I might even actually take a mixture. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to take a mixture of trust issues and pearl from the So Jaded. I'm going to take that on this Real Techniques shading brush. And then it'll be that. I'll be right back once I've put mascara on. All right, this is the finished look. The eye look was so much easier to do than I expected. The skin just looks so effortless and glowy and hydrated and Okay, you guys, that's everything for me today. I had a lot of fun filming this and I just love so many of these products. I'm so excited to keep using them. I really like the way the eyes turned out. It's like kind of a different twist on fall. So I normally do just smoky eyes and blah, 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 blah. So it's fun to kind of get out of my comfort zone and try a different eye shape. I like it. Anyway. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are. Please, again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out, and I would love to have you join my little YouTube family. And don't forget to also like and, and comment down below. Let me know what else you want to see from me next. I'm having a lot of fun filming these videos. It's just a dream come true. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.